Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. What is that you have? I have a beautiful roasting breadfruit. I'm getting ready to put it on my grill. How does one choose a breadfruit? First, you gotta look at the breadfruit. You gotta take it, turn it over. Check the weight of it. The lighter it is, is the less water in the breadfruit. So then it makes for better roasting bread. After you choose your breadfruit, then you look around, look at it carefully for bees, sting, bruises, and just make sure overall that you have a good fruit. Do you use breadfruits for different purposes? Uh, we roast them, we eat them, roast them. <laughs> But we also fry them. And you can put breadfruit in chicken soup. Do you choose a breadfruit differently depending on the use? Yes. For boiling, you go for something that's um, younger. For roasting, you try to get it as thick as possible. Even a turned breadfruit is actually a better roasting breadfruit. Better flavor. What are the white marks on the breadfruit? That is the stain. The more white marks run into the bottom of it, it's showing that it's been there longer and it's thinner. How do you prep a breadfruit for roasting? My grandmother teach me that you stick a knife in the heart and you make an X on the bottom. And that allows the steam to penetrate while it's roasting. How do we roast the breadfruit? I'm about to start my grill. And I'm gonna set it on the gas section of my grill. So we can start the roasting process. And make sure it's nice and burnt all the way around. And it takes about, I'd say maybe 30 to 45 minutes. What is the status of the breadfruit? It is finished. Complete roast. Burn all the way around. Pick it up. Let's see that little thing for Beautiful. How do you know when a breadfruit is finished roasted? When it's fully roasted, it's burned all the way around. You squeeze it. You can tell it's, it's, it's cooked. Plus it's, plus it's lighter. When it's completely roasted, you can feel the weight in it. It's lighter, and also you can press it and you can feel it, and it's, it's done. Does it yield to a little bit of pressure? Yes. It, you can make an index. There is nothing better with roast breadfruit than aki and saltfish stew to perfection with your green pepper. This is all coming from 
a lady who was born in St. Anne and your grandson who was born in St. Mary. So we are, in my humble opinion, experts in breadfruit preparation. Want more videos? Check out the playlists on my channel.